Welcome back. I'm Tyler. You're watching Scarfing Scarves. And welcome to another edition of Frock Talk, where I go through one dress at a time until I run out of room in my closet, and then I take over the bedroom and make it a second closet. We're just gonna go essentially in order, because if I start picking off dresses from different areas, I'm gonna forget what I've covered. So we're gonna start with a dress you guys have been asking me about for a long time. Sugar Dream Dome. Now, Sugar Dream Dome is an absolutely gorgeous dress that I wanted the OP for specifically because the JSK has a furry border, which if you've ever had a stuffed animal gets a little questionable after a while. This comes off, this piece right here, it actually comes off. So you can, you can remove it for different looks if you'd like. I think I usually wear it with it, I feel like. I, I'm not sure. I think the last time I wore this it was actually winter in Texas instead of whatever faux sadness is going on in Texas right now. It's a beautiful dress, but it has some uh, some bad memories associated with it because uh, I believe that's the dress you wore in, uh, when we went to Canada last year and we had to deal with uh, fucking uh, creepy Clouseau. Oh God, no, no, it's not that dress. It's oh, a dress it? that looks really similar to that okay. dress. Oh, Lovely Snow Fantasy. Fair enough. Which, by the way, I used the head bow of Sugar Dream Dome because the are so hecking similar. I use the head bow of Sugar Dream Dome to wear with Lovely Snow there Fantasy. Go. Coming soon to another Frock Talk near you. <laughs> frock Talk near you. But yes, I absolutely adore this print, and I think my favorite things about it are the little snow globes. You should get in there and have a good look at those gorgeous snow globes. I love them so much, and I got this in such good condition, with the print intact, with the little horses and the little bears. Look at them. Look at those little bears. Look at this tiny bunny right here. I know I'm bringing you back down. Look at that tiny bunny. Look at him. He is living his best life. I love him. I'm gonna get my finger out of the frame. You don't need a close-up shot of my fingers. It was so tiny that it took me a minute to find it. Are you talking about my fingers or the bunny? The bunny. <laughs> I don't know whether to be offended or not. <laughs> oh, I forgot that it has pom-poms because I'm a bad Lolita. But yes, it has pom-poms too. You can check Where are out the pom-poms. Pom Where are the pom-poms? They're right here. Right ah, there. That's the pom-poms. And it's got little jewel-like buttons up here. And the lace is really pretty. It's just really glittery and snowy. And I love pink and lavender together. I just think those colors are really pretty. How do you feel about this dress, Mr. Cameraman? Uh, well, I mean, I had bad memories associated with a second ago, but since uh, it turns out that was a different dress, it's great. <laughs> that is my life, everybody. I have to deal with that face at like that uh, 18 to 20 times a day. You won't have to deal with it very much longer if you keep it up. Yes, I will put the date it was released on the screen somewhere. It's got absolutely zero shirring as we spin it around to have a look at the back, which is super fun, but for some reason this is one of the few unsured dresses that does not hate me and my ribcage because anything from AP is going to sit on my ribcage. There's no such thing as an AP dress outside of classic fairy tales that actually fits on my natural waist because these dresses are made for people who are like 4 foot 10 and I'm like 5 8. So life is suffering, but I love it. I think it's super pretty and beautiful. And I think we'll just give you guys some detail shots. You can just zoom in on whatever you want on the dress. This your cameraman. You usually don't wear this thing, do you? The little fluffy collar thing? I yeah. can't remember if I wear it a lot or not because it's such a wintry print, I wear it like you know, four or five times a year because we live in Texas and winter is a lie. Which was the one that came with the little bear ears? The little bear ears. That was Lovely Snow Fantasy. Lovely oh, the Snow same Fantasy's thing. actual headdress is bear ears. And I do have them. I'm just going to grab them because they're right there. Bear ears go to Lovely Snow Fantasy. But I mean, I guess I could technically wear them with Sugar Dream Dome too because they're so hecking similar. And I think there's bears on this, right? There's like a bear in a snow globe somewhere, There's right? There's a bear somewhere, probably. Find that bear. There's horses. That's kind of similar to bears. They both have fur and four legs. That's close enough. See, I say dumb shit like that just because I just because I know that's how she's gonna react. 
Ugh. It's great. I hate you. I hate you so much. You guys like LWLN? That's my life. <laughs> too many people watching for me to remove your head from your body. So we're going to play nice and pretend I'm not thinking homicidal thoughts. <laughs> I just noticed there's a bow on the sleeve. Look at the bow. Look at that. That's a nice detail. It's got a nice glittery bow. But yes. By the way, you guys wonder where Tyler thinks of all her witty insults? She practices on me! <laughs> Don't tell them that. They'll think I'm a monster. <laughs> you are a monster. Oh, no! But you're my monster. Love you. I love you too. Very much. <laughs> but yes, I can't think of anything else besides like um the peplum too. It's got a nice little peplum, which is removable, by the way. The peplum comes off. I never take it off because this is one of those few peplums that I actually like. Because it doesn't obscure the border print. Unlike... Do any of your other dresses have that? I feel like that's unique. Um, Daydream Carnival also has a peplum back here. Mm. Which also doesn't obscure the border print, which is nice. Unlike Milky Swan, which we covered in my wardrobe video right here, has a peplum that obscures the entire thing. So when you take pictures of it, it's kind of questionable. But when you wear it, you know, the human eye can generally see through the peplum well enough without issues. Whereas like a camera, it depends on the exposure. It's a bunch of technical terms that no one gives a shit about. But uh, yeah, I prefer my peplums above said border print. Where are we on time? Uh, 7.53. So 7.53. All right, so we done. should wrap this up shortly. Is there anything else that you would like to look at or say about this dress, Monsieur Cameraman? Uh, I mean, you can, t you can talk about what kind of accessories you would wear with the, with this dress if you were going to put together a cord on, a cord on the fly. If I was going to put together a cord on the fly, that's actually a good question. Because I know you have some winter-themed jewelry. I, have, I, in fact, have a snowflake necklace from Dolly House. You can take a look at if you'd like. I believe it's right here. And I got that necklace or asked for that necklace specifically because I thought it would go really well with Sugar Dream Dome. And because it's a choker and the snow collar here comes off, it actually looks really cute up there and it gives it a nice little wintry feel. And I'm trying to close my jewelry drawer without half of my waist ties in it because nigh impossible with one hand. But yeah, it's a really pretty wintry cord, and I would usually put either some kind of like pinkish lavender socks with it. I haven't coordinated it with straight lavender because OPs don't allow you to pick a blouse color, so I feel like it would be too heavily purple on the bottom. You like purple, but I feel like that's too much purple. You can never have too much purple. You would be such an Ida. <laughs> Jesus. Insert like a fucking footage of Prince singing Purple Rain. Why would you do that? Uh, a Prince joke. Why not? Counts as a joke? Go to hell. <laughs> I love you so much. You're gonna see horrible things in this show. It's just gonna get worse. So uh, yeah, let's wrap this up so that you can go and be traumatized elsewhere. This, uh, heckin' heckin' heck. Sugar Dream Dome. I almost said Lovely Snow Fantasy, but I was like, no! My brain 404. Sugar Dream Dome, everyone. One last look. The nice, some nice detail shots. A nice zoom out. I finally found the fucking bear. There it is. I'm staring at his little face, but you know it's not gonna be the same on the front end. But yes. Sugar Dream Dome. A gorgeous winter print. That I will love forever and ever, even though it has no back shirring whatsoever. And if I eat just a little too much, this dress will refuse to be my friend. Like many, many other things in my life. I'm gonna flip this back now. We just got dark there. Oh, okay. Did we ever come up with a technical term for woo? I think that is it. Woo. You agree with me on something. I'm impressed. All right. Cute. Good. Stay. Sit. Roll over. Do my taxes. Done. All right. I don't know why I had to adjust my feet, but I did. So that was Sugar Dream Dome. Thank you for watching our latest installment of Frock Talk, a serial... What? Uh, something? Uh, uh semi-regular. <laughs> semi-regular. <laughs> whenever the hell you feel like it. <laughs> so professional. I mean, <laughs> that pretty much is it. Don't tell them that. No, no, I think your fans will appreciate the honesty. You don't know Lolitas. I know enough of them through you. I've been with you for nine years. I have been your buffer 
from this community. I need a buffer from you, goddammit. You kidding me? I'm gonna decide whether I'm gonna let you live or not. The moment that camera's off, it's gonna be fine. You're not gonna be fine, but it's gonna be fine. Yeah, who else is gonna film this shit? Damn it. Yeah, right? You hey. need you need me. Anyway, thank you for watching our latest installment of My Trying Not to Kill a Man. That will be bi-weekly, roughly, or bi-monthly, whatever the term is, until we run out of dresses, I run out of closet space, or both. Thank you again. This has been Tyler. You've been watching Scarfing Scarves. I'd like to thank my patrons for being the reason I can do whatever this is. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's going to continue if I murder that man. <laughs> and should you like to join their number and make more of this... You can head over to patreon.com slash lastweeklolitanews for more content that's best left undisturbed. Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you next time.